ओके सो यू आर हैविंग फोर पॉइंट सिक्स ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस फोर पॉइंट सिक्स राइट ओके सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद स्प्रिंग बूट सो कैन यू टेल मी व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कंट्रोलर एंड रेस्ट कंट्रोलर एंड नोटेशन इन स्प्रिंग बूट या रेस्ट कंट्रोलर बेसिकली कंट्रोलर एनोटेशन ओनली कंटेन्स लाइक कंट्रोलर एंड रेस्ट कंट्रोलर एनोटेशन कंटेन्स टू एनोटेशन at the rate controller as well as at the rate response body so at the rate response uh, that result it will uh, response it will convert on as xml or json format it will return so that is the main difference between uh, two and three versions okay can you run a spring boot executable jar from command line yeah yes we can execute so do you know the command for that java hyphen jar and uh, like uh, jar name we can give okay good okay so can you tell me why spring boot was introduced what are uh, the yeah, uh, like okay. advantages over spring yeah uh, it basically uh, in spring there is some configuration manually we need to do on some configurations file so like spring uh, spring boot is the next version they uh, introduced like uh, they provided a functionality auto configuration as well as some security or uh, perspective they also uh, better feature uh, logging mechanism they provided and one more feature like spring spring accurator they provided so spring accurator we can uh, monitor our application health and that uh, uses and all that status so for that they provided some endpoints so through that we can monitor our application in database side uh, like in which database you are having experience so can you write down write down a query for me yeah sure uh, okay so can you write down a query for nth highest uh, salary in a in a table which has all the employee details and salary column as well okay Miss Max salary, okay, and we will take the limit, uh, limit of uh, uh, five salaries max. Yeah. So coming to collection framework. Hmm. Uh, what type of collections you have used till now? Uh, widely we are using array list and hash map in uh, our current project. Okay. so why we are using hash map we have hash table al- already right which can also store key value yeah uh, um, basically uh, in hash table uh, there is uh, some uh, like restrictions uh, like uh, it's a synchronized so at a time only one thread it will be execute on hash table so in hash map there is uh, no synchronization so there we can execute a multiple operation at a time like multiple operation we can do Uh, in hash uh, hash map, that's why we prefer the hash map mostly. Okay, so have you heard about concurrent hash map? Yeah, yes. So that is also, I mean, synchronized. You can in multi-threaded way, uh, multi in <laughs> multi-threaded uh, environment, you can use concurrent hash map as well. So what is the <laughs> benefit of concurrent hash map over uh, hash table? Yeah. Uh, in concurrent hash map, basically, uh, like uh, it's one locking mechanism in concurrent hash map. So in hash table, uh, at a time it is synchronized uh, one by default. So uh, synchronized map interface. So it's like uh, every time we can execute only one uh, operation uh, in hash table. So in concurrent hash map, it's locking mechanism. Okay. So uh, one one uh, one index at a time we can like. Uh, Uh, that uh, mechanism we can execute one, but other indexes we can execute the other uh, threads also. So that is a multi-purpose way we can use the concurrent hash map. Okay. So we can say multiple operations uh, in uh, 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 concurrent hash map with synchronized way uh, using locking mechanism they provide, and in hash table only one uh, uh, operation we can execute at a time. 
so if you do if you use hash map instead of uh, concurrent hash map and uh, mm -hmm. you are performing operation of inserting and uh, reading the data simultaneously so what type of mm -hmm. exception you will get in that scenario uh, that like uh, uh, i'm not sure but uh, some like uh, 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 operation bg or something uh, on hash map there is no exception but uh, that maybe uh, yeah, if uh, we can get uh, old data if uh, read operation performs or earlier uh, uh, like above uh, our insert operation so not any type of exception uh, like exception is not occur but maybe uh, data mismatch uh, we can get uh, we will get an exception which is concurrent hash map uh, con concurrent modification exception yeah uh, but that is fine <laughs> so have you used executor framework or threads in any of your project uh no basically uh do you have knowledge about threads yeah uh, i don't have hands on much more but uh, theoretically i just know the little bit uh, thread concept what is a thread and what is okay so have you used any tools uh like to handle uh, deadlocks uh uh which perspective uh so to handle deadlocks oh, i mm -hmm. mean uh, do you know the procedure to handle deadlocks in your application or uh, do you don't have experience so like have you read about it a deadlock i know but uh, uh, we didn't like uh, implementation like that way okay so that's fine yeah that's fine so coming to like core java mm -hmm. oops concept that's fine key distinction i am not sure how we can like i am typing something you need to tell me yeah 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 so uh, like not output i just pasted it you need to tell me how many mm -hmm. objects are created here uh, for seeing yes is equal to means one object it will be created okay are you sure uh that's it from my side do you have any questions okay. for me uh no i just want out yeah. so i don't like uh, don't get your like proper point on that uh, hash map thing so Can you please uh, like I don't get get your uh, like proper point on that hash map things so okay. that employee descriptions yeah so uh, like in um, like in hash map we uh, we we can use keys and the rule mm -hmm. is the keys can't be duplicate yeah right yeah you know that so yeah yeah yes, yes. I just want to like. Know from you that uh, uh, to okay okay yeah, thank you so much bye. <laughs>